Hi, my name is Chris Tanay. I'm a producer at NBC Learn. And today we're going to look at how NBC Learn integrates into Blackboard version 9.1. So we're here on the Blackboard homepage. And when you install the NBC Learn building block, uh, or it comes bundled with Blackboard 9.1, and you authenticate that building block, you'll see that two tools are added to your tools menu on the My Institution page. Browse NBC Learn and NBC Learn Playlist. You'll also see that when you have that building block available, you can take advantage of one of our free widgets. Widgets are just a free, easy way to add NBC content to your institution homepage or to course homepages. These are updated by our team once a week uh, around a, a bunch of different themes. So this one is in the news. This is some of our current events video content. But you'll also see different ones for science, business, and so on. Those are free, uh, and they're easy to access whenever you like. Just go to the Module Administrator tab. When you install the NBC Learn Building Block for either a free pilot or for a subscription, Everyone will have access by clicking into the Browse NBC Learn link in the left-hand tools navigator. So I'm going to click that link, and it's going to take us straight through to the NBC Learn navigation page. For all of the features and functionality about this navigation page, you can refer to our webinar on NBC Learn K-12 or NBC Learn Higher Ed, which will walk you through all of the different features and functionality that this page has to offer. For now, we're going to start by opening up a resource. I'll choose this one out of our featured content carousel. And it's going to open up in what's called the NBC Learn cue card. This is our media player. And what you can do with this media player when you've found a resource that you're interested in is actually save it back into Blackboard. So I'm going to click Save. And it's going to save this resource and the card that it plays in back into Blackboard under my account. So I'm just going to wait for that to save. And click OK. And now I'm going to close out this cue card. And you'll see in the upper right-hand corner there's a button called Return to Blackboard. When I click on that button, it's going to return me to whatever page I left in Blackboard, so it remembers where I was coming from. Once I've saved the video into my playlist, all I need to do to access that video again is click NBC Learn Playlist. And now you'll see right inside of Blackboard, I've got access to all of the NBC Learn content that I've previously saved into my playlist. And so now, all I have to do is click on the thumbnail, and it's going to open up that cue card media player, another area where China has rocketed ahead, right inside of Blackboard. If you're familiar with the cue card, you'll recognize the flip button. That will allow you to access all of the bibliographic metadata for that clip. as well as the transcript tab for a full transcript, and the ability to print or download that clip directly out of Blackboard. You can also use the video player controls to fast forward, the mute button, volume control, full screen, and closed captioning options are also available right here in the cue card media player. Again, for a full list of all of the features and a walkthrough, please refer to either the NBC Learn K-12 or NBC Learn Higher Ed webinars. So I'm going to close that cue card. We're still here in Blackboard. And now I'm just going to show you how easy it is to embed content into a course item or other Blackboard interactive item right here in Blackboard 9.1. So I've clicked on the Courses tab. And I'm going to open up a course for which I'm an instructor. And you'll see that I can feature those widgets here on my course homepage. 
You'll also notice on the left-hand side, if I click on the Tools menu, that I've also got access to my MDC Learn links here in the Course Tools section. So, browsing MDC Learn and the Playlist tool as well. So what we're interested in is embedding MDC Learn content into the content section of a course, so I can click content. And there are two ways to do it. Both use the Build Content button. I can either add a piece of MDC content on its own, or by using the new mashup tool in Blackboard 9.1, I can create a content item. And let's give this content item a title. We'll call this homework for next week. And we'll ask students to watch the video. And write a 500 word response. And now to embed NBC content into this homework assignment, all I have to do is click on add the mashup and add NBC content. And it's going to take me right back into the MDC interface. And now I can select my clip. So I'll go and find the clip. Let's uh, do this one on President Nixon talking to the astronauts on the moon. And now you'll notice on the bottom of the cue card that the system remembers that you're in the process of embedding a clip into a Blackboard course item. So it's added an embed button. And I'm going to click that embed button. And now with one click, the MVC video is embedded directly into my homework assignment or course item. So all I have to do is click Submit. And the default is to place that item at the bottom. I'll go down to the bottom, and now I can drag my assignment anywhere I need it to be. So why don't I pull this all the way up to the top. So just take a second to get up to the top. Okay, so now I'm going to make the top item. Here's my homework for next week, and I've got the assignment. And now all a student has to do is click on the thumbnail, and they can watch this NBC video right here in Blackboard without having to go and search around for it uh, or find the piece of content that they're supposed to watch. So it's a quick and easy way to embed content and really enrich course materials using the mashup tool in Blackboard 9.1. So that includes discussion boards, blogs, wikis, any place that you have that ability to embed content, students can go in and respond with their own pieces of content. So here's a thread about Kent State. There's a video associated to it. And now I can create a response thread. And I could write my response. That. And if I wanted, I could embed a piece of video in my response as well. So I can go back either into the MVC interface or I can access a video that I've already saved. So I can access my playlist. Now I can find a piece of video to respond with. And click Submit. And now my video has been added from my playlist into my discussion thread response. When I click Submit, it will package that up inside my response thread. So here's my thread. And if I open that up, it will have my video embedded in it as well. So that's how easy it is to take content from the MBC Learn interface and embed it into Blackboard course items. 
You can do this with either MVC Learn K-12 or MVC Learn Higher Ed. This demonstration has been in Blackboard version 9.1, but it's important to know that this also works equally well for Blackboard's Blackboard Learn version 7, 8, and 9, although with some different functionality in each version. Thanks for joining the webinar. If you have any questions, you can always contact us by using the NBC Learn tool page. The URL for that is nbclearn.com slash tools. And this is a full set of tools for contacting us, for gathering additional information, and for building awareness about NBC Learn on your campus. It includes everything from resources for getting set up, ideas for using the resource, ways of downloading and embedding videos, as well as a full set of technical and content support links. We have 24-hour-a-day, seven-day-a-week technical support, awareness-building resources, NBC Learn logos, as well as resources to help support a pilot of NBC Learn or a subscription. And for you Blackboard users, there are also a full set of resources specifically around your different versions of Blackboard, including uh, tutorial videos on how to use resources in Blackboard 9.1 and other versions of Blackboard, and the building block files that you might need for those different versions of Blackboard 7, 8, 9, and 9.1. Those are all available at nbclearn.com slash tools.